This is Julianne Condia, host of Rewritten. Thank you so much for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. There are two things to remember in life. Take care of your thoughts when you're alone and take care of your words when you're with people. Hello, welcome to Choose to Rise. I'm so grateful that you've decided to push play today. And today I want to talk to you about things to remember. I want you to think about what I just said there. You know, think about the thoughts that are in your head on a daily basis because you are the person that you're going to have the longest conversation with in life. And two, remember your words because sticks and stones may break your bones, but words really do hurt people. And so I want you to think about those two things, but also a couple other things to remember in life. And so, um, I just found this little snippet on Pinterest the other day and was like, this is something I can talk about on the podcast. Things to remember. Um, and I found that quote today to go with it. And I was like, hmm, yes, here we go. So hold on to your, to your um, pants, friends, because we're going to, things that you can remember. So number one is tomorrow is a new day. Regardless of what's going on in your life, um, regardless of the thoughts in your head, regardless of the people that are, that are hap- things and people or events that are happening in your life, um, tomorrow is a new day and you always get a fresh start. Every single time you wake up, every single time you take a new breath, every single time God says, today, let's go to conquer this world, it's a new day for you to just start again. And so whether it's a, you're going to bed tonight or tomorrow night, or you've gone to bed in the past and you thought this was the worst day ever. Just remember tomorrow's a new day and you're going to make the best out of it because we don't know how long we're going to be here. We don't know um, how long the good Lord has blessed us here um, when our time is up. And so if you make each day the absolute best it can possibly be, that's really all you can really count on. And just know that if today doesn't go the way you want it to, tomorrow's a fresh start. And so you can let go of the things that are holding you back and just let go of the things that um, seem to have happened today that don't necessarily serve you. Let them go and tomorrow isn't a fresh start. The second thing to remember is that mistakes are a part of life. In fact, I celebrate mistakes. You've heard me say it again and again that failure is a learning opportunity and not an ending point. So mistakes are a part of life. We want them to happen, actually. We want to be discovering ourselves. We want to be pushing ourselves outside of our comfort zone. We want to be going forward in a way that is going to serve us by growing us and by being encouraged and supported. And, um, you know, making mistakes is the way that you learn. Making mistakes is the way that you grow. Making this mistakes is the way you get stronger. And you know what? Thomas Edison, I think it's Edison, right? <laughs> Invented the light bulb. He didn't make like one amazing light bulb. He found a thousand ways to not make a light bulb, right? When someone writes a book, they don't just write a book and send it in and gets published, right? There's like hundreds of times that they need to edit it and all the things that need to change in order for it to actually happen. Mistakes are going to happen. You don't need to be perfect. There's only one person that has ever been perfect in this world and he died on the cross to wipe away your sins and not make you not worry about your mistakes in life. They're a part of life. We're broken people living in a broken world. And when you can um, let go of the things that uh, have happened in life and the mistakes that you've made and really learn to grow from them and learn from them versus dwelling over them, you're going to have a much happier life. All right. Third one, saying no is an okay thing to do. Yep. Your plate is only, can only be so full. There are only so many hours in a day. There are only so many ways that you can be pulled in directions you can be pulled. So saying no is an okay thing. There are a couple priorities you need to take when you're saying yes to things. One, is it going to serve me? Two, is it going to serve my family? And three, are there other things on my plate that are more important? You got to think about those things. Is saying no is a completely okay thing to do, especially when it doesn't help you. And so I want to make sure that you are, are connecting to the, the what the yeses are in your life to the time that you have in your day. And are they go, those going to the most popular, the most, are they going to the most popular things? Are they going to the most prioritized things? If your family is something that you value, if your family is something that you prioritize in your life, are the things that you're saying yes to supporting that value, supporting that priority, or are they taking away from it? 
I know that when I extend myself too far, when I try to take on too many things in my life, um, the things that I really value don't become values anymore. They become uh, things on the side and that doesn't always feel good. And that um, it's okay sometimes to be out of balance, but as long as we're coming back to balance and not staying so off is uh, when we can say yes to the right things, um, that's really going to be helpful. Another thing to remember is not everyone has to like you. We're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. In fact, there are a lot of people that will never listen to Choose to Rise. There are a lot of people that will never join me as their healthy living coach. There will be lots of people that are just, you know, off in their own thing. And that's okay, right? We're not supposed to like everyone. There's not, we're not, everyone's supposed to like us. We just have to connect to our purpose, our journey here on this earth, our maker, and know that you are perfectly made for the plan and the purpose and the mission that God made you for. And so not everyone's going to like you and that's okay. Let them go. They're not, not a part of your people. They're not a part of your journey and they don't have to be. So just stop forcing it. Um, the last one I have for you is beauty and strength come from within. Beauty and strength come from within. It doesn't matter how much makeup you put on, what your hair looks like, what your clothes look like, um, all of those things. It doesn't, none of that stuff matters. What really matters is where you have been, what you've experienced, how amazing you remember that you are and that you remember that beauty and strength comes from within, that God's already given you everything that you need to know, everything that you need to have is already inside of you. And he wants you to live that best life based on the things that um, he's already given to you. So those are some amazing things. Tomorrow's a new day. Make mistakes. Making mistakes is a part of life. Saying no is okay. Not everyone is going to like you and beauty and strength come from within you. So another couple things is that you can definitely have plans change in life. You know, things are not going to go perfect. Things are not supposed to be perfect. Um, and that you can, you can allow yourself to be flexible, allow yourself to change your plans, allow yourself to kind of ebb and flow and go in the direction of the things that feel right. And not the things that you have to do, or that are forcing you in a certain direction. Always remember too, that you don't have to be happy all the time, right? There are two rails in life. There's a rail of joy and there's a rail of pain. And we are just uh, train cars tipping back and forth on the two of them. And that you don't have to be happy all the time. In fact, if you remember the movie Inside Out, it's the times of sadness that bring us the greatest joy. And so you have to be unhappy and you have to be happy. Um, there's going to be a 50-50 chance of it all the time. And you're going to experience both of them. So don't expect to be happy all the time. It's just not possible. It's kind of like expecting to be perfect. It's not possible. We're broken people. We're not supposed to be happy 24-7. The next one is showing your emotions is healthy and okay. This is something that I definitely had to work on in life and that um, I've really learned how to be emotional um, with the right people and um, how to really let out my emotions and really feel them and not just shove them down inside of me. Showing my emotions with a protected group of people, with a um, the people that I hold dearest in my life is super healthy and it's very much okay. What's not healthy and what's not okay is when you take those emotions that you're having because you're going to feel them, right? And you shove them down inside and forget that they're there or try to forget that they're there. And it's just going to eat away at you. It's kind of like putting battery acid inside of a, a metal can. Like it just, it eats away at what's happening. And so if you are trying to shove something down inside because you just don't want to feel it, feel it, let it out, let it go. And then it will not have power over you anymore. The next one I have for you is authenticity, authenticity, <laughs> authenticity. There we go. Words are hard today. Authenticity is better than perfection. And I want you to be 100% authentic. I want you to be 100% who you are and who come up with this idea of perfection anyway, right? Like we're not made to be perfect. Like everyone's perfectionism is just a way of comparing yourself against other people and comparison kills all joy. So there, nobody is is supposed to be the same. Nobody is designed the same. Nobody is created the same. All of our DNA is very different, right? And so it, even to attempt to come up with this one standard um, of perfection is super crazy. So remember that authenticity is better than perfection and always live to who God made you to be and not what other people think you should be. 
And the last one, the very last one I have for you is that you need to remember that you are amazing just the way you are, not by what someone else thinks you should look like, or you should do, or you should say, or you should have. It's all about you are amazing exactly as you are. And when you can feel those things on the inside, you can understand that you are beautiful and amazing and strong and confident and lovely and smart and all of those things already inside of you, your insides will then match your outsides. Your outsides will then match your insides because when you care about yourself and you respect yourself and you believe that you are amazing and you believe that you are strong and you believe that you are confident, you will show up like that on the outside as well. You'll take care of your body. You will move your body, you'll fuel your body well, you will walk confidently into a room and show up as the best ver version of you possible, authentically. You will show your emotions, you will be happy and sad, you will allow, you, you will be allowed things to change in your world and you will, will make sure that you are living as your best self. You will understand that beauty and strength come from inside of you and not from the outside world. Not, you'll completely get that not everyone has to like you. You'll be able to say no to the things that are holding you back or trying to get you to live that other life. And you'll understand that mistakes are are part of life and they're part of the growth process. And no matter what happens today, tomorrow is a new day. So remember those things. Those are things that you can help grow with. Those things are you can help be inspired by. Those are things that you can help just remember on a daily basis that you are loved. You are strong. You are amazing. You are a child of God and that he made you exactly the way he wants you to be. So live into that purpose. Live into who God made you to be every single day and you will find so much joy. All right, guys, have a great day. Love, share, like this podcast here. I'm sending it to someone else who needs to hear it. If you're here on Facebook, like and share it on your social media as well. Go to Apple Podcasts and leave us a rating. It helps so very much. And if you know anyone that wants to sponsor this podcast, it would help out greatly. It helps keep us, keeps us on the air. It helps my editors and like all the people behind the scenes that keep this going. And I appreciate all of you so very much. So thank you so much. And I will see you back here again next time. Later. Later.